Nursing homes have been a major concern during the pandemic, and the Trump administration announced a new change to help address the issue. News Channel 34's Basil John reports on the new requirement hospitals need to follow. With more than half the deaths from COVID-19 connected to nursing homes and assisted living facilities, CMS Administrator Seema Verma says the Trump administration is calling for mandatory staff testing. This is just going to improve the safety and quality inside the nursing homes and better protect our most vulnerable citizens. While nursing homes are required to report the testing done on staff and residents, hospitals nationwide must now report other daily data, like the number of ICU beds in use, availability of supplies, and confirmed COVID positive patients. If we don't have that information from hospitals, then we're not able to direct supplies appropriately. Verna says if hospitals do not comply with this change, their Medicare and Medicaid funding will be cut. Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey says penalizing hospitals does more harm than good. What they should do is to convey uh, the urgency of getting that data correct. The administration has to, I think, demonstrate, certainly to me, but I think any member of Congress, that they actually have an action plan that will work. Casey says the administration needs to be more proactive to protect Americans in nursing homes. We should not be talking four or five months from now and saying that another 70,000 Americans have died in nursing homes and long-term care settings. The administration says they expect the new requirements to save lives. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.